virtual groom room. My name is Jackie Host and today I'm bringing you another shaving video and my soap of choice today is going to be from Singari Man and this is Magician. Um, if you didn't see the scent notes on here you've got oak moss, orange blossom and fern. Um, it makes a very green fruity sweet scent. It's very nice, very light. Um, I've not used her soap yet, which is very, very interesting. Um, her balm is second to none. Like, as I've said before in some of these videos, we are in the process of working with uh, Heather from Zingari um, to get some soaps on the card website. By the time I upload this video, it will have been done, and these were sent to me for shooting. So, kind of, you know, think, think about it that way. Uh, Cool thing about this is this is her first shot at Tallow. By first shot, I mean her first official release. There's probably been lots of testers, but this is the one she's released. Um, I actually did, saying that, I got to use one of the samples. And I have to say, it was very, very good. She did a fantastic job on the sample I received. So, yeah, looking forward to showing you guys that today. Razor of choice is we're going to go back to the stainless steel Christopher Bradley razor. Today I'm going to be using the B plate, the SBB plate, and inside this is a first use Gillette Nasset. And my brush of choice today is um, I want to use the Declaration Grooming B8 brush. I really, really like this brush. This is quickly turned into my one of my favorite brushes for sure. Um, if you haven't seen this, look at this handle. So this handle is made by crushing resin and then forming it into this shape. It's a quite an ergonomic shape, it's a nice brush. Um, as per usual, really, I'm gonna go away, kind of prepare my face, load the brush, and I guess I see you guys lathering up. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, face has been prepped, brush has been loaded, let's lather up. Um, so on the load, I have to say that I was kind of surprised. Um, quite often than, more, well, more often than not, Quite a lot of soap is left residually. Um, I've cleaned the the soap now, but a lot of soap is left to the way I would describe it. I just put it on my face. You've seen it, kind of get the soap from the park sort of thing. But nothing happened here. I think a lot is loaded into this brush. To be honest, I think there may be a bit too much water in here, but we'll find out. Let's play. I mean, it's pretty dry still. It's hard to say. It's definitely still dry, so let's uh, incrementally add some water. Fill up the sink a little bit. Dip the brush. Man, that's an obnoxious sound. It's the sort of sound my, uh, my basset hound George makes when he doesn't get his own way. He starts making all of these sounds like a cow. And, uh, it's like he expects you to feel sorry for him. I don't know if you guys have seen George. If you haven't, I will, uh, hopefully I remember. I'll put a photo of him somewhere up on the screen. He's a character, that's for sure. So, what I can tell you at the moment, is this, it's gonna be very low structure. I can just immediately tell you. It's very creamy, it's not dense. Um, well, it is, it, it's weird because when we say low structure, it just means it's not voluminous. Um, the way I would describe it at the moment is, it doesn't quite have the volume, but it's got like a low structure density is the way I would describe it. I mean, it's proving to be able to take water really well. So there is that. 
I mean, to be honest, I think it could even keep taking mortar, which is actually quite impressive because I've added quite a bit. And we are going to keep doing it until I'm happy. So. I mean, the soak in the brush looks pretty good. Yeah, it can still keep taking water, so. You know what I'm like, guys? I want to push it to its limits and we'll see kind of where we end up. So for anyone that hasn't noticed uh, or had a look, we've recently introduced um, male grooming stuff on the Carve Shaving website. So along with purchasing the best razor, wink wink, um, you can now purchase in what my opinion is the absolute best aftershave. Like, man, this stuff takes water. Jeez. This really takes water. I'm really surprised. Again, I'm going to keep adding. If I, if I think it can keep, you know, taking it, I'm going to keep adding it because it's pretty crazy. Um, this is getting to like A&E levels of water tolerance at the moment. Holy fuck, it's still taking water. <laughs> Christ. I mean, it's really, really well hydrated, but if it can take it, I'm going to give it to it. So this is going to be the last one and we'll kind of go from there. I know you guys are pretty used to me blathering forever, but uh, Jesus Christ, it's still going. It's still going. Like, what the hell? This is mighty impressive. <laughs> so the reason, as someone who works for a company, we stock this stuff now. The reason why I looked at Heather as a company, well, Singari is a company I wanted to work with, is because they have an admirable work ethic. Um, she works really, really hard to kind of develop her stuff. I'd say she's one of the hardest working in the industry and you know, we want to associate ourselves with those types of people. So, Carve, Christopher Bradley, stainless steel, B-plate, let's do it. Extremely slick. Being completely honest, like this, this soap kind of has my ideal density. Very slow. I have to try it with the straight. Yep, very nice. The scent once lathered is probably about a five. Nothing too overpowering. Um, some more news, Chris Bradley or carb related news. Um, over the next month, our plan is to really crank out these waitlist invoices. So if you're on the waitlist, it won't be too much longer, I assure you. Like I said originally, um, we want to be done with this by the new year and it looks like we will, so. Very, very good. To be honest, the soap could have even gone a bit further with hydrating, which is crazy because I put up so much water into it. It's 
to uh, tackle this bit. Right, that was a great first pass. Okay, uh, that's a very good first pass. Took down most of the hair, to be completely honest with you, but we're gonna rinse off and we'll get lathered up again. So the thing that impressed me the most is that soap can probably even take more water. I mean, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't say it was underhydrated, by any means. Still very slick. The post shave on it already feels fantastic. Um, brush, still full of lather. Let's lather up. To be honest, it's a, such a strange consistency. It's almost gloopy, but like, it's gloopy, but slick. Like, I wouldn't say it's dry. We're gonna try and add some more water and see what happens. <laughs> Still building. Wow. It's actually very impressive. I mean, can't really moan at that, to be honest. Like I said from the beginning, it's not the highest structure, but it's very dense. So if you like that sort of thing, you'll really enjoy this so. I mean, look, it's still building. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I mean, I didn't load for any longer than I would in nether soap, so I think it's just a testament to the soap base, to be honest. I'm going to talk to you about this, because this is very impressive. I mean, it's very well hydrated, I can tell you that much. So we're going to go with this. Wow, it's insane how much water that can take. Insane. <laughs> okay, let's go cross grain. Very slick. Wow. I don't want to seem like a shell or anything. But if you haven't tried this, I recommend it. Excellent. I've heard from many people. She also has one of the best vegetable bases on the market as well, so if that's your thing, I suggest you check that out when they are released.
mean, if you can see that there, that's collecting very well. But something I've noticed is the, the way I would explain it is what often happens, the way I hydrate lather, it just tends to fall off this razor. I think this soap is very dense. And because of that, it feels very, very protective. Let's have a feel around a bit. The bit's here, so let's... Okay. It's pretty late, so forgive me for not being like incredibly energetic. Very nice. Oh, man, I'm, I'm incredibly impressed by this. Let's see how uh, the consistency it comes out of the brush. Yes, it's just very thick. I mean, that's very dense, very thick. Oh, man, it feels like a <laughs> man. That's that's thick, very thick. Um, that is a good thing. Uh, it aids. Oh, it's fantastic. Pr protective qualities because of that. I mean, it's thick. Man, <laughs> very, very impressed. It performed very well, uh, very slick, very slick. I wouldn't say it's the slickest soap I've ever tried by any means, but it's definitely more than slick enough to give you a fantastic shave. Um, we'll test the post shave on it. Um, this has been rubbed in. I'm gonna clean up here, clean up here, and I'll see you for the post shave. I'll be right back. Welcome back, it's post shave time. Make sure I don't have any lingering soap, just because I look like an asshole otherwise. Okay, um, let's fill for the post shave here. So I've dried my face for the most part. So you, all, all I'm gonna feel is like hydration. It's very good. <laughs> wow, yeah, it's very nice. Uh, very hydrated. Don't really need a post shave product to be honest, but we're gonna use one anyway. And I thought in a good fashion, we're gonna use this. So this, um, as I've said in previous videos, I'm, I'm gonna be going to bed in about half an hour, but um, as I've said in previous videos, this for me is the best balm on the market. This is Zingari Man and this is their unscented. They obviously do balms to match their scents, but I'm not gonna be doing that here. Uh, all I use for this is two squirts. Pfft, did you see that? Fucking explosion. Okay, that's... Uh, Get us out of the face. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. The thing I love about this balm, uh, over, above a lot of balms, to be honest, is the, its absorption rate it's so fast. Um, kind of what I want from a balm. That's probably the most important thing for me, um, how fast it absorbs and obviously the, the face feel afterwards. So let's have a recap of everything I've used today. Starting with the soap, Zingari Man, Magician, in Zingari's new tower base. I'm very impressed. Probably the densest soap I've ever used. Very, very nice. Um, the razor of choice is the Carve, Christopher Bradley razor in stainless steel. The plate was an SBB plate, very nice. My brush 
was the Grizzly Bay. As you can see, crushed resin with the declaration B8 knot, quickly becoming my favorite brush. And my post shave, last but not least, was Zingari Man, unscented. Fantastic stuff, fantastic shave today, guys. Um, I'm getting some marks around here. I was getting a few pimples here, but I think uh, the shave has made them a little bit worse. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but yeah, good shave today, guys. Uh, very little irritation to none, no nothing to be honest. Uh, kind of my, my aim, you know, I don't look for a BBS shave or anything. I look predominantly for an irritation free shave. And apart from these, kind of like these, these pimples here that were forming, it definitely feels like that. Um, they were forming, irritated them a bit, but apart from that, fantastic shave today, guys. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, have a look at some of Zingari stuff, be it a balm, be it a soap. Give it a go, it's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Apart from that, it's your host, Jack, from the Virtual Room. This is probably going to be uploaded on Friday, so have a fantastic weekend, weekend ahead. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and uh, you've been watching my videos for some time, I really appreciate you did so. Um, channel's growing. I've recently uh, hit well over 300 subscribers, so I'm happy you guys are happy to tune in, I guess. And apart from that, this is your host, Jack, from the Virtual Room. Goodbye for now.